Hi everyone, it's me again, Natalia Capel from www.nataliacapel.com. So today I'm going to be talking to you about search engine optimization. It's a big subject uh, when it comes to being online, uh, but I'm going to specifically talk about what it means for uh, micro and small business because there are a lot of things which are really only relevant to very large websites with tons of products and a lot of uh, authentication and logins and a lot of stuff that's not really relevant to small websites. Um, SEO can be a cause of anxiety for small businesses because it's very difficult to determine what you need to know, what you don't need to know, what to do, what not to do. If you would like an introduction to what a search engine is and how does it work, I've got a video on that, so pop over and have a look. There should probably be a link coming up somewhere, possibly here, there, or anywhere I've put it, um, just to explain to you the basics and why uh, search engines work the way they do, and it may help you understand uh, how to optimise for search engines. Um, this is going to be a seven part video so you can watch each part individually or you can just um, I'm not going to put the whole video together because it takes a long time for me to upload it. Um, thanks Australia for no MBN so far. Anyway that's just a bit of a side thing. Search engine optimization for a micro and small business. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through uh, the terminology that you're going to come across if you start researching or learning or wanting to know more about search engine optimization so that you know basically what that means. By no means is this what I'm about to tell you exhaustive in any way and I will at some point try to go through each individual section that I'm about to show you in more detail um, possibly specifically for industry types because Search engine optimization does require that you understand the marketplace that your web page is in, who your competitors are, especially locally, uh, and who, uh, you know, what everybody else is doing, what's new in your industry. That's one of the things you should keep an eye on if you want to do proper search engine optimization, and a variety of other things. But I'm going to keep it simple for now because I do go on a lot. So I'm going to start with. The very first thing is that you're probably going to come across when it comes to learning about how to be good at search engine optimization, and that is the terms white hat, black hat, and grey hat SEO. So white hat, white hat, white hat SEO is a relevant content including keywords, a validated HTML code, no hidden content, and good links. So white hat SEO it basically means the correct way to do search engine optimization so that you are uh, bumped up into your ranking score uh, correctly. Because if you are found to do to uh, employ black hat SEO and grey hat SEO, not only will you lose any ranking that you have um, accumulated, you will also go further down in page rankings and uh, you will be blacklisted for doing black hat SEO basically. If you really want to understand SEO management and you have some basic more than basic knowledge of search engines and search engine optimization then I or if you just really want to learn then I suggest you uh, have a look at the Google uh, SEO masters forums and website that's very good for keeping you up to date at least with what Google's doing. Uh, when we talk about search engines, we talk about a variety of different software engines. The reason it's called an engine is a little bit misleading uh, because aside from just functioning like an automated system, gathering information and doing things, it's really more of a network of uh, uh, concepts that are linked together in order to serve the public or the user who's searching for information, the best relevant information they can for you and that's why white hat SEO is important because if you start um, using black hat SEO which is you know copy content duplicate content start building websites just for link farms so that you can draw in 
um, you know, uh, traffic um, that's not really meant to be there. It's not really linked in any way or relevant to you. You're just drawing the traffic so you can convert it to money. Then you will get your actual any white hat SEO will become really meaningless after that. So try to keep to all of the latest uh, SEO uh, strategies and Google Google's forums are very good for that. Of course, there are other search engines, but they all really much operate the same way. The only difference is the algorithms for returning your relevant searches. If you want to try them out, use the same search um, function or the search the same search expression uh, or search query uh, in all of the different search engines. The top ones are Google, of course, Yahoo, which has been around before Google, and it was my, it was the first search engine I ever used. Um, uh, in the beginning, it was slightly returning better results than Google. I haven't tried it lately, but I'm going to do that now. Um, and Bing, which is really the Microsoft Network uh, search engine. And they all have preferences to what content they serve. For instance, Google will serve their content first before other, uh, other platforms like it really depends, but it will has a preference to its own sort of links. Grey hat SEO. Now, this is the area of SEO that people play around, like where the growth hacking sometimes happens. Like I, I'm always looking out for grey hat SEO method methods, but they're becoming more and more rare these days because there's only so much you can do with content on a page. Um, so grey hat SEO uh, really sometimes has been what used to be white hat SEO and then became black hat SEO because it gave uh, essentially what you're trying to what Google or any search engines try to discourage is an unfair advantage um, by drawing traffic to your website that shouldn't go there it should actually go somewhere else so not only taking traffic away from the relevant pages but trying to build up your own reputation which is a no-no at the expense of others so some grey hat SEO, they're generally white hat methods which become black hat methods, e.g. like hidden content was originally not banned until it was discovered. People still use uh, hidden content. That means things like um, one of the biggest hidden content uh, methodologies that was used was just uh, putting in white font against a white background. It's not technically hiding anything, it's just not making it visible in a way that a human can understand but a search engine can so why do we have these rules like i said because it makes it difficult for search engines to deliver relevant content otherwise and that means that they're uh, they're not performing their job correctly um search engines use limited information to classify the type of information your page may have so um it's very easy to do black hat seo um, and it does still happen um, you can look up black hat SEO methodologies online. They're very easy to find. Please don't use any of them. Um, uh, so these are auto they are, generally these are automated and they do not appear. They do not. Uh, so right. Okay. So okay. So they classify information. A top of information page have that they are automated. And generally not adept to understanding, well, this is the search engines are automated, obviously, and generally not adept to understanding the meaning of the content of your pages. That's the realm of a emerging SEO search engine optimization, artificial intelligence, where um, it's more obvious other than text. It, it's important to understand that right now, search engines basically function on just context, or the te in a te uh, textual context. Obviously, images and videos and all that counts, but they're still um, read by search engines as text and classify it as text and index as text just like you would in a library. So that's why I had black hat and grey hat SEO. You can go on to the website and have a look at more information about our services. You can have a look at the podcast that I've got, Business Percolator, or you can just go on to the second part, which should come up somewhere, a link to it, uh, that talks about, uh, let's see, meta tags and data sets.